Hey, what's going on out there? Today I've got a new tutorial for the Logic Pro X users, and this one is going to uh, give you some really cool, useful shortcuts for the piano roll, some tricks that you can use uh, to navigate around the piano roll better, use them for your melodies, your chord progressions, and uh, just a couple of other different ways I'm going to show you that we can use with drums as well. That's just going to allow you to uh, have a lot less frustration in terms of getting around the uh, piano roll. So first thing I want to do is just record like a really simple couple of chords here and then we'll go into the piano roll window and I'll show you some of these shortcuts. Couple of simple chords here. Turn this down a little bit. So the first one I want to show you is just how to move notes around without actually dragging them. Let me just turn this off. But um, you know, you can just move them like this. Let me turn my snap on. But uh, an easier way, if you're if you need to do it this way, you can just select a note, and then if I hit uh, Option up or down, it will move the note uh, one semitone. So another useful thing would be if let's say you wanted to move this chord a whole octave, right? All I would need to do is hit shift option up or down. So I mean if we had if I selected this whole progression and I wanted to move it down an octave. Let's say, or just a semitone. So that can be really useful when you're just playing around with different chords, notes, and things, and you just want to kind of move things quickly, see what they sound like in the piano roll. So the next one that I want to talk about is uh, how can you create a uh, a progression with full notes that extend all the way to the next chord or the following chord. Uh, I do this a lot whenever, you know, let's say I had like a string line that was kind of like. Something like that, but I wanted to uh, then have the same progression in the piano roll and use it in the context of like an arpeggiator or a pad or something like that. So let me just record something like that real quick um, and show you. So we got that in there. Now let's say that you, you wanted to turn this into, again, something to use for like a pad, right? So all we would do is just, uh, let's go ahead and take We just need the first chord uh, of, of each of these little progressions here, right? So I'm just gonna delete the rest of these. Now, if I hit uh, Command A and I select all of these, what I can do is I can use a shortcut called Trim Note into Following Notes uh, or Forced Legato. So if I do Shift, backslash this is going to come up and it's going to ask us if we want to delete the chord notes or shorten overlap notes we're going to do shorten boom that will extend them out so now from that staccato line i played i've just built the the progression for use with a, a pad or an arpeggio say we wanted to uh, transpose the lower notes you can just hold shift click all these and then we can use our uh, move note by uh, semitone or octave shortcut or transpose event that we uh, looked at earlier so I'm gonna move these down a whole octave so it's gonna be shift option down I 
give us a thicker uh, voicing on the chord. So just a couple of different practical uses that you've got there uh, for that shortcut in particular. Uh, there's also a similar one called trim note to remove overlaps for adjacent. And uh, again, I'm going to show all of these uh, in the description. And all you need to do if yours are, if your key commands are set up different, you can just go up here and I'm going to give you the names of them. So you can just type them in. For instance, for that, type in trim note and those two that I just talked about come up and you'll see what I have them set as, but you can put them as whatever you want. So again, you can use that for any of these that I'm talking about. Just open your uh, key command, which is option K, and uh, you can edit them however you want. So uh, that one, this uh, trim note to remove overlaps, that one's useful. Let's say by accident, I had uh, this chord that kind of overlapped this one. I would just select those and then I can just hit backslash rather than shift backslash. Shorten, boom, and it'll just bring that one back so that they're not overlapping. Uh, keep your progressions clean. So let me go back and we're going to show you another one now, which is the repeat. And this one's really useful uh, in a number of ways. I mean, you can use it in the arrange window to repeat regions. So if you've got drum patterns or something that you want to repeat or just progressions, anything, uh, really quickly just to hit Command R to do that. Now we can also use it in the piano roll. So if I had this chord, this whole note chord that I wanted to repeat, boom, just hit Command R and uh, it will move it over there. So you can do that. It's also useful, like let's say we were programming hi-hats or something. And we had some 16th note hats. I could just repeat them like that. It's really quick. So repeat, that one is Command R. Again, you can set that however you want by clicking uh, Option K, pulling up your uh, key command window. So now the other one I'm going to show you is uh, how to adjust the velocity of the notes in piano roll. Now you can use the velocity tool, which is going to give you a little bit more flexibility, but this one's quicker. So let's just say that we uh, have this chord, right? And I'm going to go ahead and set the velocities to uh, full for each note. Now what we can do is let's say that, you know, I wanted the voicing of this chord to be a little bit different. Uh, let's go ahead and move this down an octave. Uh, but let's say that I really wanted the uh, this note, the C, to not be as prevalent in the chord. Then all I have to do is uh, hit control command click and i can adjust the velocity of that note in the chord or if i wanted to make uh, the d sharp could adjust that as well uh, so that's just useful if you want to adjust the velocities on the fly of notes. You can also do it with a chord. Um, it, the logic kind of behavior is a little bit different when you have it set up that way, but you can adjust it as a chord. A really useful and handy trick. Now the last one I'm going to show you deals with if you're sequencing drums and using the uh, piano roll for this. So let me just lay down a uh, quick little drum loop and then I'll show you how that works. something like that. So let's just do our, our repeat command that we talked about earlier. Boom. And another one, this is not to do with the piano roll, but this might be useful for y'all. You can use the join and mine is command J. Boom. Set up a region there. So now when we are in our piano roll and we've got drums, right? So it's, it's a lot different to look at this uh, versus playing, you know, like a keyboard instrument. So we've got this tool up here. Uh, which is the collapse mode. This was added in, in uh, Pro X. And if we just click this button, it will collapse to only the notes that are played. And then it'll give me this handy little uh, description here telling me what drums for each channel. So now it's much easier to look at this more like a, a drum sequencer rather than a piano roll. And if we want to go back, we can do that. So uh, that's just really, really useful when you're programming drums, drums within 
uh, the Logic uh, Piano Roll window. You could also use a step editor uh, to do uh, different things here. But uh, yeah, that's a couple of tricks for y'all using the Piano Roll, some useful key commands that I use all the time. I was using them on a beat actually today, and so I figured I'd share these with y'all. Hopefully they're helpful. And uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments below. Appreciate all the likes and subscribes. And again, I'm going to give you the names of all these. So if you want to go in and program them yourself, all you need to do is click Option K and you can search for them and set your key commands there. All right, y'all. We'll talk to you soon.